Hello friends, so in today's uh, video lecture, I'm just going to introduce you with a very interesting concept that's called soft computing. So uh, let me start. Uh, before actually moving to soft computing or what soft computing is, we must have to understand what is computation. So guys, because you are learning soft computing, you must have worked with many computers, computer programming and so on. Uh, so you generally know that there is a cycle that is called input process output, the IPO cycle. Everything, every time whenever the computer do something or process some things, we must have to send some input to it. There is some processing unit inside the computer. That processing unit takes the input as parameter and then work over them and then it gives you some output. In mathematical term, the input is antecedent that is being uh, provide it to some computing unit and then it will give you some result in form of consequence. In this case, fx is a function in which x is the input that is the parameter that has been passed over here and y is the output that will be returned as consequent to the specific user. So, computation is any type of calculation that includes both arithmetical and non-arithmetical steps means we need to work on computers and in computer we are doing any type of calculation in which we have arithmetic and non-arithmetic steps and it follows a well-defined model. See, well-defined model is very important that in case of computation because we need to have some model in which we are going to perform some kind, kind of computations over there. Right. So, if computation is basically a process of uh, calculation or uh, something like getting input and working on that one and then giving us output. So, we are saying that computation can be either hard computing or soft computing. So, what hard computing is? Hard means something that you cannot easily mold. If you have created something hard or if say if you have iron with you, in that case, you directly cannot mold it into any other shape till you are not going to melt it. Okay. So, Hard computing basically means you have precise result, you have control action that is unambiguous. Control action is basically the algorithm, the specific uh, model which takes the input process over it and give you output. Right. So, hard computing basically means something, some process, some pro procedures in which you are giving input, but the thing, the result and the inputs and the output, everything is fixed. Say you are going to add two numbers, you are adding a program to add two numbers in that case, in the sum function you will provide two inputs, two integers. But in later on if we are saying that we uh, don't need to add two numbers, we just want to add three numbers. In that case you have to create another sum function in which you are, uh, you have to pass three parameters there. So if you are willing, we should have some function in which we can uh, pass as many parameters as we wish and it could give us output the same ways in same efficient manner then hard computing will not work there. The example of hard computing is searching and sorting, shortest root finding, solving mathematical problems. These all are having some well defined algorithms with them. The control action is ambigu unambiguous say you are saying you are working with bubble shorting in that case there will be no other procedure no other function or algorithm which is similar to or which will same work as bubble shorting too so it is unambiguous in that case and the result will be precise or result will be guaranteed that you will get this kind of results in that case okay what soft computing is it is proposed by l a z it was he was the inventor of fuzzy logic soft computing is basically differs from conventional hard computing in that uh, unlike hard computing, it is tolerant of imprecision, uncertainty, partial truth and approximation. Okay, so this is basically there that we are having as we have discussed earlier that uh, in soft computing, we have lack of accuracy. Okay, we are not saying that everything is completely accurate. So it is imprecision. It is not certain that you will get result every time. The result that you are getting will be not completely truth, it could be partially truth and it will be up to some approximate, right. So in effect, the role model for soft computing is human mind, how human mind thinks, how human mind is working, how it, it normally solves some calculations, some processes and all other things. So generally human mind's calculation is uh, not completely precise, 
Okay, not completely certain. It could be partial truth. It is not always approximate and so on. So why we are doing this? So that we can achieve tractability, robustness and low solution cost. So that we can e easily teach machines. Okay, we can easily work on different uh, instruments or gadgets or equipments or specially machines we are saying. So uh, this particular soft computing will help, will help in that one because by creating, by working with hard computing, we cannot make machines uh, in that, to work in that manner so that they can easily understand everything. They have to be a little softer in understanding and that's what soft computing do. What are the characteristics of soft computing? It does not require any mathematical model. We don't need any mathematical model to work with soft computing. We do not have any precise solution. And the most important is they have adaptive algorithms. That means they adjust in dynamic environment as you can have different parameters and inputs in them. So same as we are saying, we are going to create a sum function which is having say 50 parameters, then we can do that. Say next time we are needing to have 40 parameters, 30 parameters, 10 parameters, 2 parameters and so on. In every situation, that algorithm will be adaptive and that will be able to work with that one if it is following the soft computing part. What are the basic components of soft computing? Machine learning, fuzzy logic, evolutionary algorithms and probabilistic reasoning. These four are basically the most important or the basic components of soft computing in which basically soft computing is being applied. What machine learning is, you all know how machine are going to learn. It is basically a criteria. It is basically an, a, a, an area where we work on how machine is going to learn. Okay, it will have neural networks receptrons support vector machines we are going to discuss with machine learning later videos but currently we should know that this is one of the basic components of soft computing for example we have face recognition fuzzy logic is the another component like automatic gear transmission system air conditioners washing machines we are implementing this fuzzy logic uh, in soft computing way that is not completely precise but in some way it is giving you the best result Evolutionary computations, like, like high, how different species, insects, animals are working, how birds are working, how they are collecting food, how they are doing their, uh, how they are finding their prey and hunting on that one. So these evolutionary algorithms or genetic algorithms are the basic part of uh, soft computing. This is one of the component of that one. Next is probabilistic listening in which we are having some kind of probability like basic networks. So guys, these all four components will be discussed in later videos. How soft computing in genetic algorithms, like we just uh, select the best population among different as group of population, we are just selecting the best of that one. We will start with the random population, then we will reproduce another population and then out of these population we will rank every individual and then select the best of them. So this is how uh, genetic algorithms select best population among different populations. Okay, same if you are talking about fuzzy logic, that is another component of soft computing. And if you are talking about automatic speed controller, then there will be speed like too slow, slow and close and so on. And according to these specific parameters, the vehicle will uh, normally uh, control the speed. Like we are not giving any specific measurement like 20 uh, km per hour, 10 km per hour, 30 km per hour and so on. Okay, the specific parameters that is fuzzy is too slow, slow and close. Right. So guys, this is enough for this uh, particular video in which we have discussed what soft computing is, what are the characteristics of soft, com soft computing, what are different components of soft computing and in next video we are just going to discuss what hard computing and uh, what is the difference between hard computing and soft computing basically. So guys, this is enough for this video. Uh, I just wish that you have understood the basic part of this one and uh, I just uh, will try to work on that one in later videos till then. Please like and subscribe. Thank you very much.